Fret not, my friends. She hath risen. You guys want to know what I look like in high school? So, I am alive. This is weird. I haven't filmed in almost a week. You guys have to understand for somebody who films every single day, that's a lot. That is an eternity. It's like three dog years. Hi. For those of you guys who are new here, what's good? Hola. For those of you guys who have been around and follow me on social media and all that stuff, you guys know I just got over what I thought was a flu. Um, turns out it wasn't. I actually just got over strep. The bad one. I have never had strep throat in my life and I've had the flu before and it felt almost identical to the flu except for the fact that I felt like I was gargling lit matches in my throat. I got antibiotics. I am on a hefty dose of herbal tea and penicillin. And while I feel ultra dizzy, the burning is gone and I miss filming. I'm so happy to be back here. I miss work. It hit me Thursday afternoon. Thursday morning i woke up with like a scratchy throat but i thought that was just because i left the ac running all night and i am very sensitive to stuff like that and then i went to walmart and then i started getting very lightheaded and then my throat did not get better and then i started feeling my joints start to ache and then slowly i started feeling like hot like really hot and then i got home and then i felt death becoming me it was weird but i'm all better now and i finally get to review so much makeup it just piled up as i was laying in bed reading my will i'm so excited i finally get to review the milk makeup stick i've been wanting to review this forever so i actually picked this up at sephora i went to sephora got myself matched and i matched myself to medium hopefully this is going to be good i'm very excited to try this foundation for a couple of reasons one because i love reviewing foundations Two, because I want to find a good stick foundation. So far, the only good stick foundation I've ever tried has been a uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick. For some reason, that one was so so good like it blew my mind how good it was and it was a drugstore the thing about that foundation however is it doesn't have the best ingredients and i know it's wet and wild it's very affordable so it's not gonna have the best ingredients so i'm hoping this will be like a better alternative not that i'm gonna wear this foundation every day either but you know i'm just saying clean is good <laughs> so i just went ahead and primed with primers that i know that i love because i need the extra moisture and literally any moisture i can get right now i'm using the la girl pro prep hd moisture and the Laura Mercier foundation primer. Cook you get ready makeup spray. This stuff is good. I went ahead and dampened my sponge since that is how I apply foundations normally. I very rarely use brushes and by very rarely I mean like literally never. So there's not really a point in me like ever using a foundation brush. Let me read you some stats on this product. So this is the Milk Makeup Foundation Stick. I got mine in the shade Medium. It is $36 and it is rated four and a half stars. It comes in 39 shades is what I'm seeing. $36. The shade range looks really good ranging from super fair to pretty dark it has a medium coverage the finish is supposed to be natural the formulation is obviously a stick for all skin types because i read here normal dry combination and oily and this has blue lotus chamomile and lavender to help calm and soothe the skin the blue lotus moisturizes and the marshmallow root extract allows the formula to move with your face and never crease or cake also it's good for your throat I had a lot of it over the weekend. Good stuff. <coughs> it's free of sulfates, SLS, LSLES, formaldehyde, formaldehyde releasing agents, mineral oil, retinol, palmate. This product is also vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free. So my boyfriend can eat it. Dope. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it because I am pretty ready. I just realized I always make jokes about products having flexes, like they're at the gym, and this one is actually called Flex. Gloria. I love this packaging. I think Milk killed it with this packaging. It's so sleek. It's so white. It's like, isn't that dope? Just gets me hard. Here we go. Ooh, very creamy, but she is orange undertoned. I swear, I do better online picking out my foundation shades than in person. It's almost embarrassing. And the shade match 
It's not too bad. It's just definitely not my undertone, but it's not terrible. I think I can make it work. So this is what one side of my face looks like with the foundation. This is Sans foundation. You can't tell much of a difference. Again, I added a very thin layer. It's a medium coverage and also I take care of my skin and I drink a lot of water. So there's that. Moving on. Foundation sticks are so weird. It's like applying deodorant to your face. Which, by the way, a lot of people who have very oily skin use deodorant to prime their face. I would never, one, try it. Two, recommend it. Just the fun fact of the day I decided to share with you. Also, sharks pee through their skin. <coughs> Message. All right, so this is what we're looking like. First impressions, the finish is very natural because it's not matte. It's definitely not luminous. Coverage, super medium. Like as spot on to medium as you can get. Very, very medium. Personally, I don't mind this coverage. You guys know me. I like a medium coverage foundation. I like my foundation to look natural. So right off the bat, I'm kind of a fan of this. Just for the sake of let's see if she builds, we're gonna go ahead and see if it builds. But for now, I am actually pretty impressed. That might have been too much. Okay, she definitely builds. I would say if you want to get her to like a full coverage, you might want to add another layer actually. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm using a sponge and the sponge absorbs product because it's a sponge. It's not bad, like in my opinion, because like I said, I don't mind medium coverage foundations and I don't really like like a full coverage cake face look personally on me. It's just not my steez. But if you guys really want full coverage and that's like your go-to always all the time forever and ever and ever, I don't think you would like this foundation. Personally, I don't mind it not an inch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this set I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face And then we're gonna come back and kind of gather our thoughts and see how we feel about it But for now coverage I like finish I love match I could have done better But honestly, I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get I didn't feel like anything was on my face when I first applied it adding the second layer I'm like, okay, I'm wearing makeup so I can feel it. It's good. It's not very blurring It's a foundation. It's makeup I don't mind it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. Sometimes foundation changes once it settles onto the skin. So let me let it breathe. Let me let it play with products I know I love and then we will regroup. The Milk Makeup Foundation. I have been wearing this foundation for about two hours now. I went ahead and did the absolute rest of my makeup. And I wasn't planning to get as dramatic and as heavy with this makeup as I did, but damn. I went a little ham. I don't see this foundation oxidizing. I don't see it getting too luminous. I do see it getting a little bit luminous. Like I'm not gonna lie. Where I didn't really bake, I could see some luminosity. But where I did bake and set and use everything, it looks really pretty. I have to say the foundation looks really pretty. First impressions, I like it. It didn't oxidize in a weird way. It didn't cake up in a weird way. It doesn't feel heavy. I mean, I do feel like I have makeup on. Like the second I put the second layer of foundation on, I felt like I had makeup on. But if I were to just do the first layer, which to be honest with you guys, probably gonna do more often than not because I don't really care to build up foundation. I'm just not a coverage type of girl. This is dope. It feels like nothing. It feels really natural and it looks really beautiful. Like a stunning, just skin-like foundation. And that's, and those are the kind of foundations I typically go for. So my first impressions on the Milk Makeup Flex foundation. I like it. Do not see myself returning this anytime soon. I love the fact that it's so small and so compact. This is probably gonna be my favorite travel foundation because of this. I love the coverage. I love how it wore. I wish it had a little bit more of a blurring technology if I'm being honest, because I do look for that in foundation. But my primer can help. My setting powder can help. My concealer can help. Do I think it's necessary? Absolutely a must in your collection. No, but if you are like me and you have been looking for like a good foundation stick with good quality ingredients something that you're okay with investing your money on you just want to know that it works i have the answer for you it's right here in this tube and she's pretty bomb i approve <laughs>